Little Albie Davis was just days away from celebrating his fourth birthday when his life was cut tragically short. The youngster and his parents had been preparing for his party when the happy-go-lucky boy choked on a small toy. The Davis family come from Wynyard on the Australian island of Tasmania. They consist of mom Anna, dad Simon and their children Sage, Albie and Acre. And while Simon works as a relief teacher, Anna runs her own play store called The Small Folk. To help promote her business, Anna regularly posts to the store's dedicated Instagram page. The account features snapshots from the busy mom's everyday life, which often feature her three photogenic children. Thanks to Anna's clear talent for photography and the desirable products her store sold, her Instagram page proved popular. As a result, it now boasts an impressive 42,000 followers, presumably from all corners of the globe. In February 2018, the Davis family were gearing up for their son Albie's fourth birthday. Anna and Simon were busy preparing for a party. However, little did they know that their beloved boy would not make it to his big day. During the days leading up to Albie's birthday, his parents had purchased toy gifts for departing guests. Among them were bouncy balls that featured images of the characters from kids' TV show PJ Masks. And when Albie saw them, he wanted to play. Anna had no qualms in handing Albie one of the balls to enjoy. It was larger than an Australian 50-cent piece, which is the minimum size recommended for young children's toys. Furthermore, since the packaging stated, not for children under three years, she figured Albie would be safe at almost four. However, as Albie played with the ball, tragedy struck. The youngster started to choke, causing his mom, who was just a single yard away, to leap into action. Anna tried desperately to save her baby, but unfortunately her efforts proved fruitless. After giving mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation to Albie for 16 long minutes, paramedics arrived on the scene. However, there was to be no saving the youngster. Tragically, he passed away in his mother's arms. On a GoFundMe page set up in the wake of the incident, a family friend said the ball had become stuck in his windpipe, preventing him from breathing. Naturally, Albie's parents were utterly devastated by the loss of their son. Announcing his death on Instagram in late February 2018 they wrote, Yesterday afternoon, our beautiful, beautiful Albie, our darling baby boy, grew wings and flew from this earth. Minutes pass like hours and the gaping hole in our lives and hearts is completely incomprehensible. In the days afterwards, it was disclosed that the Australian coroner's office was investigating Albie's death. The Tasmanian Consumer Services Office revealed it had also launched an ongoing probe seeking to establish if the ball on which the youngster choked met required safety standards. Following Albie's death, Anna took to Instagram to reveal an insight into her son's personality. She explained how, in the hours before his death, Albie was looking forward to sleeping in his new bed sheets. Anna related how Albie had told her, I can't wait to go to bed tonight, mum. The accompanying image showed a smiling Albie all tucked up. Our precious boy, with his brand new Duna cover, 2.49 p.m. on Monday afternoon, exactly 40 minutes before he took his final earthside breath in my arms, his distraught mom explained. Anna's heartbreaking posts resonated with the online community, particularly with those who had children themselves. It seemed that many parents found the Davis's story too emotionally hard to fully process and were simply unable to put themselves in the family's shoes. Beneath the image of Albie in his bed, one mom wrote, My heart is breaking as I learn your story. I'm sitting here with tears streaming. I don't know you, but I am a mother and I know at least what the edges of your pain must feel like. This was just one comment in a stream of dozens that offered condolences to the Davis family. And although nothing could be said to bring Albie back, Anna appreciated every word. During this time of immense grief, your thoughts, prayers, sympathy and tears have enveloped and uplifted us, she wrote. However, not everyone had kind things to say on the matter of Albie's death. Through Instagram, Anna revealed how she had found herself subject to criticism. Even in her darkest hour, 
the bereaved mother had not been completely spared the judgment of others. Writing on Instagram, Anna said, The heartache we are already experiencing is indescribable. To know there are ill-informed stories and subsequent false accusations circulating, initiated by some incredibly heartless people at this time, only exacerbates our pain. Happily though, most of the comments the Davis family received were kind in nature, and the support continued to flood in up to what would have been Albie's fourth birthday on March 5. That's when his parents went to visit him for one of the final times. Later on Instagram, they wrote, Our arms are yearning for the thousands of cuddles yet to be given. Our ears are longing for your laughter to once again resound through the walls of our home. They added, We, along with the world, are weeping, but we take solace in the fact that all you ever knew, in your almost four years, was nothing but love. 